Hello everyone. This is Mahesh sir. In the previous class, we have discussed about multi-stage compressor, the working of multi-stage compressor. In this lecture, I am going to explain about what is the work and power required for multi-stage compressor. We know in the previous class there are two compressors are there in multi-stage. One is low pressure compressor, another one is high pressure compressor. One C. What is how once we go to the previous one. See, this is low pressure compressor. From the low pressure, the pressure is increasing from P1 to P2. Intervolar we are using. In that high pressure compressor, the compression is taking place from P3 to P4. Value also from V3 to V4. Now we are going to find out what is the work done in this low pressure compressor and also work done in the high pressure compressor. We know previously the compression is taking place isentropically. That is the equation is PV power n is equal to constant. In the previous classes also I have explained the work done formula is equal to W is equal to n by n minus one P1 V1 P2 by P1 n minus one by n minus one. Here the pressure is taking pressure is compression is taking place from P1 to P2. Therefore here P2 by P1 n minus one by n minus one. This is only for low pressure compressor. Now for high pressure compressor the air is compressed from P3 to P4. Now the same formula n by n minus one. Here we are taking the value initial value or initial pressure that for high pressure compressor is P3 and the value is V3. Therefore we are using P4 by P3 whole power n minus one by n minus one. Now this is I am combining this low pressure work done that is W1 and the high pressure work done that is W2. I am combining those two. Therefore it is called as a W1 plus W2. Just I am substituting this equation one. Assume this is equation one. And assume this is equation two. I am adding this equation one and equation two. Therefore, here here n minus n by n minus one is common. Here also n by n minus one is common. That's why I am taking n by n minus one is outside. Here the first one p one v one p two by p one n minus one by n minus one. Same I am writing here. This is one. And next one is p three v three p four by p three n minus one by n minus one. Same I am writing here. Now we are using intercooler there. If the intercooler is perfect, I already said in the previous lecture. When we said the intercooler is perfect, means the temperature at second, the starting point is equal to the temperature at the third point. That is high pressure when the compression is taking place. For example, from here, this is high pressure. This is P3 and this is P4. Here, another compressor will be there. This is. LP com LP compressor here pressure P1 and this is pressure P2. Here temperature T1 is there. This temperature should be equal to whatever the temperature we are getting here. If these two are equal, T3 is equal to T1, then the intercooler is perfect. Then that curve is called as isothermal means temperature is constant. We know that equation for isothermal. PV is equal to constant. That's why whatever the, that is P3 V3 at the third point should be equal to P1 V1. PV is equal to constant means we can write it as P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 or P3 V3 is equal to P1 V1 like that we will write. Therefore P3 V3 is equal to P1 V1 and P2 is equal to P3 from the graph. Let us see. Now from this graph the pressure at second point this is P2 is equal to P3. Here P2 is equal to P3. That's why I am substituting in the equation P2 is equal to. Then W total will become n by n minus one. P1 V1, P2 by P1, n minus 1 by n. It is common. In place of here P3 V3, I am substituting what here? P1 V1. Therefore, it is P4 by P2. See here, what is there here? P4 by P3 is there. Why I am substituting here P2 means in, I know that is P2 is equal to P3. Therefore, in place of P3, I am substituting P2. This is minus 1. And minus one, it will become minus two. This is the total work done if the intercooler is perfect. This is the total work done if the intercooler is not perfect. This equation here, I'm I'm not changing this P3 V3 is equal to P1 V1 here, and I'm keeping P4 and P3 like that only. Now, if the compression is adiabatic, adiabatic means what? There is no heat addition and there is no heat heat incoming and there is no heat outgoing. That is the process called as adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, PV power gamma is equal to constant is the equation. Therefore, in place of n, just I am substituting gamma. This is gamma by gamma minus one P1 V1 same constant only here. P2 by P1 whole power n minus one by n here. Here P1 V1 there here P1 V1 there just I am taking P1 V1 common therefore it is P2 by P1 n minus one by n 
plus p4 by p2 n minus 1 by n minus 2. You may get it also how to remember this formula. This is very simple. If the compression in the multi-stage compression is taking place, don't bother about the middle one. Here compression first taking place from p1 to p2. Therefore, p1 and p2. Next one, next what? This is only the starting pressure should be there and the final pressure should be there and here p1 is there and p2 is there don't bother about this p3 what is the final pressure you are getting the final pressure is p4 here answer should be final pressure and here what is the final pressure in the first stage that should be present here this is p2 by p1 whole power n minus 1 by n plus p4 by p2 n minus 1 by n minus 2 this is the total work done in the adiabatic process same here also but only in place of gamma we are using here n next to power what is meant by power already said in the previous class power means the rate of work done is called as a power that is the power formula that is w by here t time period is equal to inverse of frequency that is equal to it is 1 by n this is frequency or number of cycles then if i substitute here 1 by n that is w into n it is power this w into n only we are getting in work done per minute here if i substitute in place of minute 60 then it will become the work done in kilowatts that is kilo joule per second therefore the work done formula w is equal to sorry power formula p is equal to w into n by 60 kilowatts thank you